Hello, Leo. I love you so much. Your energy coming through right now is freaking funny. Um, welcome to my channel. I'm Chandra Lynn, and this is your general reading for the end of October, which we're going to have a full moon, and this is going to move us into November. Um, it is general, so take it how it resonates with you and your life, your situations, and your experiences, and discard the rest. And it is also for those that are healing, aware, becoming aware, ascending, you know. Um, so, yes, these general readings are focused on self. This general reading is focused on Leo and no other Leo and no other zodiac sign outside of Leo. If those anybody in those energies comes up, it is just to help identify what it means for you. So with that, um, what else do I have to say? Yes. Okay. So it's been a couple of crazy months. I haven't been back. Um, if you're new, you know, you're new, but if you, if you've subscribed to me, like, yeah, the energy has been crazy. I've let go and I'm just kind of surrendering with it. I've been blown back in. I am working on other things for the extendeds and other readings and all that. So hopefully I'll have that ready to go next week, but depending on the energies, depends on where I blow. And, um, yeah, if you feel like balancing energy for energy, that donation link is below and is greatly appreciated. And then I'll go ahead and get started. I am asking for past, present, future what you have directly come out of, what you are currently in, and where you are headed. So let's go ahead and get that done for Leo. And what I was, your energy, when I was uh, hitting record, was um, almost like I feel like there's too much sitting still. It's like, oh my goodness, Leo wants to get, do like, oh, Leo wants to get this done. Leo wants that. Leo plans this. Like, I mean, there's like excitement and like, oh, when do we get to go? Kind of an energy. So, yeah. However that resonates with you, we'll get, get it clarified here in a second once we get some cords. Well, there's one. Ooh, you got wolf instinct. Something had Leo paying it. Damn. I just, well, where did, solitude. So something had Leo saying, fuck these bitches. I'm going solo. <laughs> Give me any more on that. Oh, okay. Okay, so before, okay, so whatever this instinct that was that took you, right, you see the background, it's very grayish, it looks really cold, it doesn't look too appeasing, I mean, it's beautiful, but when you, when you're thinking, okay, so this is almost like the environment, okay, that's what I'm hearing, is that is the environment, it's cold, it's damp, it's barren, None, it's like, where's everything that I already did? Like where, where, where's all my hard work? Um, because it's almost like, um, this barren energy, this, you know, like just flatten everything out. Energy is coming in. All right. But then Leo decides to go right. Island solitude. You see the difference in the landscapes, right? Like there's, yeah, there's only one tree on that, but look how pretty that tree is. It's all, like, can you see it's all purple, and it's grassy, and it's pretty, and yes, you can see the clouds in the background, but you know what doesn't give a fuck, because look at how pretty this island is. And, um, that's what is the instinct. That's the awareness. Um, it's almost like, um, Having the awareness, like, if you were the wolf, it's like having this awareness that your pack was uh, more, 
that. Yeah. Let's find a more compassionate word to speak here, please. Um, your pack did not pull their weight. Yeah, their, your pack did not pull their weight. And I still got to use the other word because that's where the island came into, right? It's almost like your instinct said to go into solitude. And that's because the pack wasn't pulling their weight, which means the pack was taking and taking and taking and taking. Kind of like a parasite. Um, and so in order to break free, you went to this island. However, this place, right? So it, in a sense, that was like wondering, like, well, was it the right idea for me? Because there's a storm coming in. But what energy I'm really picking up is like, this is the energy that you left from and you used what little energy you had to get you here. Okay. They're unable. They, they, they take. So they're unable to follow you. They have no energy to get them to that island. All right. Let's find out what's fixing to come up, okay? But no wonder why the cards were throwing themselves. Like, that's a shitty freaking energy. Oh, man. Okay, so you got dance celebration. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Um... Now, I'm picking up one of two things with this energy because the landscape seems pretty barren here, right? So, I'm unable to... Uh, I, I want to get... Let me get an ancestor and angels and guides and higher self card really quick because I would like to get some clarification on this dance celebration card. Ooh. Do we got another one? That's beautiful. Okay, so you got the summer card. Right here, right? Bask in joy and light. But this is really speaking of this summer to me, what we have just come out of, the summer that we have just come out of. Um, something about this summer, and I know that it seems like, you know, like this seems like winter and this seems like summer, but it's the environment that I'm speaking of. All right. It's almost... Um, How do I word this best? You were a worker bee this summer, right? Or you worked your ass off in order for something this past summer to be amazing. And then in comes um, your pack that does not pull their weight. <clears throat> and yeah. So you got the Lord with take, with take, with take charge and authority. All right. This was you. This was you being like, nope, no more. Um, no more, no more, no more. And you took your energy away. Um. Okay, before we move on to this next card, we're going to go right back to here because you got this Lord energy, okay? And what I'm I'm hearing a lot of like, you know, um, there that there's a reason why there is only one Lord. One big kahuna. 
Not everybody is able to do what you do, Leo. Not everybody is as evolved as you are, Leo. A lot of people need help and guidance. Um, but what I want to say is that you have to allow that energy to come to you. Like, just because you see it doesn't mean you got to jump in it, right? Allow, like, your energy is very valuable. You know your shit, all right? You know your shit. You know how to get shit done. You know how to make things easier. You know how to make things run smoothly. You know how to make things expand and grow, right? It's not a, well, we're constantly trying to keep things up or we're constantly trying to fix what's broken or we're constantly just trying to make ends meet. Like, no, you, you don't want that shit. You want to... Do it this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. So that way, even when you're sleeping, you wake up and there's there's more than what there was before. Um, and that's where this new energy comes in with Heart Guardian. Okay, so let yourself love and let yourself be loved. And that's where this dance card, the celebration comes in. So um, this is one of two things, because remember, love, um, love is no enabling, all right? If people want to be around what you provide, your energy, your service, they got to pull their weight. And when there is no pulling their weight, you need to love yourself enough to say, hell no, and, and uphold your boundaries. Um, it might be hard and it might be difficult, but what I want to say is they're going to want this energy back. They're going to want this back. And... They're going to want... They, like, whatever this is, um, there is an energy that will be appreciative. There is an energy that will desire to grow and expand with you. They're, you know, being appreciative and showing the proper love, um, But at the same time, no more allow to have anything taken from you. Balance. Balance is key. Balance is amazing. Um, so keep yourself in balance on both ends. You know, if somebody, if you're looking for a service or an energy from outside yourself, you know, make sure that that balance, that energy stays balanced, you know, um, and, and the vice the same way around. Create. Okay, so it's almost. Oh, you are creating you. You're creating your new life. That's why it's barren. Because all of this still has all of the old energy mixed into it. Okay. Okay. And what I'm hearing is Leo did a lot of building things with others in their focus and others in their intention. And Leo figured Leo would just work with what Leo could work with. And that's not what's happening right now. That's not, that's like, you're wanting to move. Well, you're fixing the move. Make sure that you're creating exactly what you want. How does your house look? How do you, how does it look when, you know, how does your ideal house look what's important to you um how you know you dress you drive like all of that stuff do you like where your intention attention's going do you like the shows that are playing on tv do you like um the things you do to go out like you know it's, it's create so start getting rid of the shit that you had done for everything and everyone else and start implementing what it is that you want and we're starting to run a little bit long this is an amazing reading like i'm really happy that you were like fuck these bitches i'm gone
Okay, come on. Ask and surrender. So, whatever it is that you want to create, if you are unable to acquire the resources right there in the present moment for you to create such a thing, ask for it. And then just trust that it's like a spiritual Amazon Prime, okay? It's going to be delivered. Boom. That's what I got for you, Leo. I hope that helps you. And I love you guys. And I hope I will see you next week. Depending on what the energies do.